Hello everybody, welcome to another SuperFit workout video. In this video, we're gonna look at four exercises to work your abdominals and lower back, pelvis, pelvic floor, often known as the core or the inner core. First abdominal exercise is mountain climber and variations on mountain climber. I'm gonna do it on the flat in high plank, but this can be done with the hands up on something um or you could put your feet up on something it's gonna be more difficult with your feet up on something so on the flat or with hands on something this is a little bit high really to make it work so you'd need a low wall or a box or a step um, which you can find at the gym or outdoors like i said a low wall or a bench okay on the flat into high plank we're going to do four variations so the straightforward mountain climber knee forwards then we're gonna do knee to elbow. Then we're gonna step. And then we're gonna jump. Okay, so here we go, four of each. Keeping the pelvis as low as I can without scraping my knee on the floor. One jump, by the way. Two. Three. Four. So we did knees forward, knee to chest, knees to elbows, step, and then the jumps. So two on each side for the knees to chest. Two on each side for the knees to elbows. Two on each side with the steps. Four jumps. The jumps though entail jumping to the right, back to the center, to the left, back to the center, one jump. So a lot of jumping. Again, keep your pelvis low. Apart from possibly on the straightforward swing throughs if you're doing it with your hands on the flat because you have to prevent your knee scraping on the floor. Next abdominal exercise is a side plank, either in half plank or high plank with a straight leg raise to the side. So we'll show you in high plank. In high plank, you can put this hand up in the air and then a lift. Of the leg or Slightly easier, half plank, other hand in the air, lift of the leg. Try and stay directly on your side. Keep the top hip stacked on top of the bottom hip. So side plank with a side straight leg raise. Obviously repeat on the other side. Next abdominal exercise, lying on your back. You can lie on a mat. Um, if you're outdoors, I'm just gonna use the paving stones as I'm not doing a full workout. Lie on your back. Have your legs up to tabletop. Knees bent to 90, hips bent to 90. Hands above the chest, head just off the ground. And then take legs and hands away and then back to the center. Obviously, the lower you go with hands and legs, the more difficult. My head is just off the ground. Back should stay neutral, so it's neither flat to the floor nor fully arched. Next, abdominal exercise. Similar position to the legs and arms away. Sitting up, but on an incline, arms across chest. Lift the legs, take them to one side, take them to the other as though you're lifting them over a small object. The feet are close, but they're not resting on each other. And maintain your neutral position in your back upright. So that's the end of the short abdominal workout. Again, because we're not using additional load, normally I'd recommend with additional load, i.e. in the gym with weights. For strength training, you work to sets of six to eight, 
and you work until you get fatigued. So you need to weight that fatigues you between six to eight reps. Here, because we're using body weight, don't worry too much about the number of reps and focus on the feeling, i.e. fatigue. So with all these, you keep going until you start to feel fatigue. In the mountain climber series, I just did two on each side for demonstration purposes, but you could keep going on that one. So you could do six on each side, eight on each side. You might need to do a test round first to see what you can manage. That one will probably get you out of breath as well if you're doing multiple reps on each side, okay? But you're looking for fatigue. It could be central fatigue, uh, heart and lungs, or it could be muscular contraction fatigue. With other exercises, you'll probably get muscular contraction fatigue rather than being out of breath. But again, keep going until you get fatigue in target muscles. So on the side plank with the side leg raise, it could be fatigue around the hip or it could be fatigue in the middle. Certainly the one sitting down you're probably, or lying down, you'll probably feel fatigue in the ab abdominals by the time you get to a certain number. Um, to make them more difficult, you can move further or you can move higher. So in the, in the last one in this session that we did where the legs were going from side to side, you take them up higher, up and over a, what would be a, an imaginary higher obstacle or an actual obstacle, the more difficult. The legs and arms away. If you take the legs right out straight and the arms right back and bring them back in, is more difficult. Mountain climb, as we said, the hands and feet level is difficult. If you put the feet up a little bit, it becomes even more difficult. Hands higher than the feet is more easy. Side plank, high plank is more difficult than uh, half plank. Um, and then the height of the leg lifters also would um, indicate difficulty. So you can have a little bit to play around with, but you're working to fatigue. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you soon for another super fit workout video.